Hey guys, it's Megan. So today I want to talk about five things you can do now to get ready for wholesale season. So before I jump into my five things you can do, I want to talk about what I mean when I say wholesale season. So the truth is that you can actually reach out to stores at any time of the year. Probably wouldn't do it in December just from a, from a stores or busy standpoint, but in general, you really can reach out to stores at any time of the year. However, there are a few key windows throughout the year where stores are buying, and it's really helpful to know and understand those so that you can time your outreach when stores are really primed to buy. And those time periods coincide with the major trade show seasons. So one of those is July and August. You see some big trade shows happening in July and August in Atlanta and New York City and Dallas and a lot of other places. And so stores are going there, especially smaller stores are thinking about their holiday buying. So July and August is one window. The second window is right now, January and February. We are same thing gearing up for a series of shows. We've got Atlanta coming up, we've got New York coming up. So you've got these major shows coming up. But even if you aren't doing a show, and that's fine, you can totally do wholesale without doing a show. Even if you aren't doing a show, it's really helpful to understand these windows so that you can time your outreach when buyers are primed to buy. So as we head into this January, February kind of wholesale season trade show window, here are five things you can do now to prep. Number one is to review your line. This is a really good time to just go through your line and see if there's anything that needs to get cut. Maybe it's things that didn't sell well. Maybe it's things where you had production issues. Maybe it's things you're just tired of making or you're not ready to have anymore. Review your line, see if there's anything you wanna remove. Of course, at this point, you can also add in new work. That's great. But one of the things that I have always found is that coming out of that busy November, December season that's so busy for a lot of us artists and makers, it's a lot of pressure to design entire new bodies of work for this January and February season. So. If that's you, don't feel bad that you don't have anything new to add. I personally always did a lot of my designing for that July and August window. That's when I tend to bring in new work. It's when I tend to be more productive in the studio. So that for me is the time. But even if you're not planning on adding anything new, now is a good time to review your line and see if there's anything you want to cut. Number two is update your prices. So this one is a really good time of year to do this right at the start of the year because Things change, right? Costs go up, timing changes. Sometimes you just realize that you were undercharging for something. And so now is a good time to go through your line, look at your prices, decide if anything needs to go up and change it as you're producing your new line sheets or notifying buyers that you're open and ready for orders. Number three, speaking of line sheets, is to update your line sheet and your online catalog. So if you're using a service like FAIR, you wanna make sure that everything in your online is up to date, you're deleting stuff you aren't using, you know, you're updating prices. And then obviously if you're using a digital line sheet, a PDF, or you're going to do a print line sheet for something, you want to make sure that that is updated and ready to go as well. So that's our third thing. Once you've reviewed your line and outdated your prices, you want to make sure that line sheet and online catalog, if you use one, are up to date. Then number four is design and order postcards or other promo materials. So if you know me, if you've spoiler alert, read my book, um, you know that I'm a big advocate of doing your own wholesale outreach, doing your own store outreach. Even if you use a platform like FAIR, even if you're doing trade shows, I think it's so important to reach out to stores. And one of the best ways, my favorite way to do that is to design a postcard that you can send to stores. You can email stores and I think it's also a great strategy, but emailing stores relies on having a great subject line, getting someone to pay attention to you in a crowded inbox. A postcard gives a quick visual hit of your work, your brand, and really lets stores kind of see what you're up to. You can do things like add a QR code to it, describe your line. And so now is a really good time to design and order postcards. In fact, I would even argue that you should do that before you do the full on big task of updating your line sheets or updating your online catalog. The reason being postcards take time to print. And the last thing you wanna do is have to pay expedited because suddenly you realize it's the beginning of February and you haven't ordered any kind of postcard or promotional materials yet. And then finally, number five, if you're ordering postcards or you're thinking about emailing your stores, obviously you need a list. So this is a really good time to update your store list, go through, check on stores, make sure they're still in business, make sure everybody's working. If you did postcard mailings in the past, go back through those ones that got returned to you. Make sure you're taking the stores that aren't working off your list. Add anyone new that you've discovered in your travels. Make sure your list is updated and refreshed so that it's ready to go when you start doing outreach. 
So those are five things you can do right now. I realize it's a big list, right? But now is a really great time to do those things so that you're ready to go, not just for this wholesale season, but for the rest of the year. So make sure you review your line, update your pricing, update that line sheet and online catalog, design and order those postcards and update your store list. Now, if any or all of this sounds like gibberish to you and you're going, Megan, I don't actually know how to do those things. Well, no worries. Make sure that you check out my book, The Artists and Profit Makers Guide to Selling to Stores. It goes into detail on all of these things. What should go in your line, how to price your work, what a line sheet looks like, how to use online platforms, what to do for postcards, how to research stores, and so much more. So this book, Selling to Stores, The Artists and Profit Makers Guide to Selling Stores, is available on my website at shop.meganalman.com. It's also available on a certain um, big box bookseller slash retailer. I will link to both of those below this video. And the other thing that I will say is speaking of the Artists and Profit Makers Guide, if you need more detailed help, you want someone to review your line sheet, you want someone to look at your pricing, you want someone to tell you which image you should pick for those postcards, I do all of those things in my online group coaching program, Artists and Profit Makers. So be sure to check that out as well. It's at artistsandprofitmakers.com. I'll link to that below the video as well. So I hope these tips are helpful. I know it's a lot of work, but if you break it down over the next couple of weeks, you'll put yourself in a really good position to get ready for wholesale season and the rest of the year. And if you like these tips and you want more videos, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks guys.